5-4-1-A-17. Ulsterbank Rugby Force, helping your club matters. Lansdowne travelled to Castle Avenue to open up the new year, with a visit to one of the league's strong contenders, Dunthorpe. Both teams were eager to maintain the momentum that they had built up towards the end of the 2013 year, and as referee Sean Gallagher got us underway, it was no surprise that the opening few minutes were very tense. Tontarf enjoyed the majority of possession during the early exchanges, but excellent work by the Lansdowne defence effectively kept them at bay. As the tense exchanges kept coming, discipline was always going to be crucial and Clontarf earned the first scoring chance through a 14th minute penalty when the Lansdowne scrum collapsed. Clontarf out half David Joyce comfortably sent the close range effort between the posts to give the Castle Avenue crowd a deserved lead. Just two minutes later, Mike Ruddock's Lansdowne side were offered the opportunity to restore parity when Sean Gallagher brought it back for offside. Scott DC stepped up and he slotted his effort between the posts. Tarf continued to pose problems for the visitors, but although Evan Ryan and Colin O'Shea both threatened on occasion, the well-drilled Lansdowne defence proved hard to break down. At the interval, the teams were still on level terms, three all at the break. After the resumption, both sides tried, without success, to break their opposition down. Tarf got themselves into the most promising position with a scrum on the Lansdowne 22. Oh, oh, Gallagher penalised the Lansdowne pack and Joyce walked forward for an attempt on goal. He knocked it over for a 6-3 lead. The advantage was short-lived though, Clontarf were pinged for not releasing on the ground. The right-footed former Cork con man, DC, took on the penalty attempt from wide on the left-hand side and he evened the scores once again. Not long afterwards, Tarf were pressing hard, the Lansdowne defence straight offside again, offering Joyce another shot at goal. restored their lead from just inside the 22 metre line after 55 minutes, nine points to six. The game was very much still in the balance at this stage, but Lansdowne suffered a hammer blow just past the hour mark when winger Keane Ahern was sent to the sin bin for a high tackle. Tarf kicked the penalty to touch. They recycled the ball seven times with pick and goes after the line out. They moved it out wide, and although the ball went to the deck, it put the Lansdowne defence on their heels. Winger Michael McGrath cut back inside brilliantly, evading a few tackles to touch down right of the post. Joyce provided the extras and Tarf finally had some breathing space at 16 points to 6. Lansdowne forced their way back into the match with 13 minutes to go. They recycled the ball deep inside the home side's 22. DC fed centre Mark Roach, who took on the Clontarf defence. He ran at the gap, then outside Joyce and inside the left winger. He drove hard for the line, giving Lansdowne a very well earned try. <laughs> DC's successful conversion set up a nerve jangling finish for all involved. With three minutes to go, rather than kick for the posts, Lansdowne opted to kick for the corner in an effort to complete what would have been a brilliant final quarter comeback. However, they weren't able to reach the Clontarf line and had to settle for a losing bonus point in the end. At 
Castle Avenue in the Ulster Bank League, it finished Clontarf 16, Lansdowne 13. Four one a seventeen. Ulster Bank Rugby Force helping your club matters.